Alright guys, welcome back to Persona 3, Reload, last thing we met in Persona 3. Um, if I remember correctly, it was just all social link stuff. I think we just progressed the Hermit Arcana because it was Golden Week, and as a result, you didn't have to do much um, stuff after school, meaning that the Hermit Arcana was open. Um, and today is just going to be another social link part. Unfortunately, I was wrong. We are not any, We are not going to be able to do the uh, Full Moon boss battle that takes place. Um, that takes place in two days, which are in-game time, obviously. So we will not be doing the full moon boss battle until mon until Tuesday's part of next week. Hey, they're setting up our full moon our full moon boss battle. Actually, no, technically not really, since. I don't think I've ever seen the wrong answer dialogue. I don't think I've ever seen, like, what happens. Like, clearly, if you get the answer wrong, nothing happens. You don't get any sort of, um, benefit to the social stat, to your social stats. You know, I, like, I don't really, I'm, I'm assuming your teacher reprimands you for getting the answer wrong. But I'm, like, legitimately curious, like, what the other students say. He's like, wow, he's a fucking dumbass. He got all the other questions right this year, but that one, oh, what a fucking dumbass. <laughs> All right, so if I remember correctly, we are actually setting up for another social link, um, which is the Hangman Arcana with Maiko, which, um, in order to even initiate this social link, you need to buy the weird Takoyaki from that stand right there that I was just at, and you need to get her a um, can of Mad Bull. Now, um, getting a can of Mad Bull is not that, e it's not that hard, any vending, I think a lot of, most if not all the vending machines have Mad Bull in them. I mean, it's pretty easy. Just go to any of the vending machines. They're really cheap. It's only going to cost you like a hundred, a few hundred yen to um, check. And well, even then, you don't have to spend, if you don't see the words Mad Bull on the menu, then don't, don't bother. Uh, but you do need to get all the vending machine drinks at least once um, for one of Elizabeth's requests where she wants every drink from the vending machines. Um, but that's not that difficult either. That's, like, probably one of the easier requests. <laughs> yeah, real bad. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I would... I, you should be giving any food... Uh, food that's labeled as weird to uh, someone. I don't care what their age is. That's just something you don't do. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I like how I'm hovering over it for a while there. Some of some of the dialogue prompts for uh, Mike was a social link is fucking savage. Like I swear to God, like I I don't think we're gonna be seeing the one that I really like where um, but it, it, I won't spoil it. But it's just I, I remember hovering over it for a suspiciously long time. But it was just so funny, because it's like, Jesus, fuck, dude, don't say it. Yeah, but we aren't actually starting our social link today. You have to wait, I think you have to wait a couple days um, to actually start it, so. Um, instead, we're going to spend more time with Yuko. Got a problem with that? No? Alright, let's move on. There was this one time I left some tissues in the pocket of my running pants, and then I washed it without realizing, oh, boy, did that make a mess. Oh, can you hang on a sec while I put my shoes on? Not again. It's the same stupid prank every time. Talk about unoriginal. Fortunately, we can't see it because the camera angle is... It, it, it well, does not face it. my shoes are safe. Going that far would have been crossing the line. the first few times I stopped counting. I was pissed off at first, but eventually I just got used to it. Getting worked up about this would just tire me out. It's not worth it. But if I catch her in the act, I am fully prepared to grab her and teach her a lesson. Uh, that was a joke, okay? I'm a nice girl, really. 
Come on, let's go. Social link with Yuko broken. <laughs> so I figured this might be a good time to update our team uniform. What do you think of switching to running tights? They say it reduces wind resistance. Hey, look over there. It's Nishiwaki san. Is that your new? On to the next one already, I see. I didn't mean to do that, but um yeah. Also, I don't know if I mentioned um that also all the social link um voices got changed too. I mean that one's not as obvious since back in the original Persona 3 the social links weren't voiced. Um so it was kinda hard to tell if they were changed or not. Um oh, I mean it is kinda easy to tell. You know that they got voice actors considering that they are voice now um because to my recollection none of them were really fully voice acted until because uh, like i think it followed the rule that persona 5 did where the first and the last link were the only two um were the or the first and the last rank were the only two um ranks that were fully voiced while everything else was just um was just no voice acting whatsoever not it was just a random example what's wrong did i say something to offend you not at all hey uh, let's just go already sorry you got dragged into that <laughs> i didn't even say anything all i did was stand there no you shouldn't have to deal with that Sorry. Oh, I should probably fill you in. Where you get the wrong idea about me. Well, let's go sit down. That girl in the black tights we went to the same middle school. Back then, there was this boy on the basketball team who asked me out, and we started dating. But turns out, he was seeing her at the same time. When she found out, she said I stole her boyfriend. Even though I was a victim too. She blamed me because I was the manager of the basketball team. Isn't that just ridiculous? And after I became the track team manager here in high school, that set her off on me again. But really, all I want to do is support others so they can be the best they can be. Remember the gum on my locker? That was probably her doing. She's definitely the type to hold a grudge. Oh, those girls have way too much time on their hands. All they do is complain and gossip. Why don't they do something more productive? They're the ones who should get a lecture from Akoda. You're not putting enough thought into your future. Tell that to them, not me. Oh, what if he does and you just don't hear it? Sorry for what they said about you. They called you my boyfriend. Must have made you feel awkward, huh? Uh, hey, you! How can you say that with a straight face? Okay, technically, he didn't move his lips at all. I mean, he doesn't talk. So, he didn't say anything with a straight face. He just has a straight face overall. I don't think this motherfucker ever smiles. I know in the anime, I think he only smiles like three times throughout the anime. One of them, one of them is at the ending. That's actually another thing about the anime that I kind of liked, is that they kind of just completely ignored the social links. Like, they were there in the anime, but, you know, since Makoto's personality was that he didn't care about anything, he didn't really hang out with any of them, but you did see them in the background of a lot of scenes. Um, I think he did hang out with, like, one of the social links outside of Seas um, for, like, a part of the movie, and that was before... Um, a certain event, a certain event that happens in this game. I won't spoil it, but, um, but because there is a point in the anime where Makoto sort of, um, is in a better mood and starts, you know, being more socially active, but then that shit just goes away. You know, that shit just disappears the set after a certain character's death. Uh, yes, yeah, so a character dies. I'm not going to say who. Um, and, and it makes sense on why. <laughs> so 
But what am I looking at the floor? Oh, I guess, oh, I'm pointing out the detail. This is one detail. I don't know why my past self is trying to point out, but there is a... There is a cord going from whatever electronic device to an outlet of some sort um, everywhere. They actually put the time in to model the cord going from one from one end of the device to the outlet in the wall. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I was pointing that out. It's it's it's, a, it's an interesting detail that they put they went out of their way to put in, but it's just one of those things where like I don't know why I have to point that out. Oh no, before school event? Yeah. You know, there's usually yeah, there's usually some type of Yeah, there's not always an a, a little event that tells you about a rumor or something like that at the beginning of school every day. Um, there's a few exceptions to the rule. Um, but it's usually, you know, mainly because I at that point you've probably already heard all the rumors that you need to hear and nothing's popping up for a little bit, but there's gonna be a I mean I think there's only like a few days where the rumor thing doesn't happen. And it's usually, you know, it's because they just, yes. there's no point in repeating information. You know, because usually like the rumors don't relate to just social link or social stat stuff. It also relates to main story, you know, just to give a little more um, world building into what's going on with the story. Like how other people are reacting, like they're talking about that there's other people with apathy syndrome or later on we're going to be learning about um Fuka's condition when it comes to um where she is in, throughout the game like they're going to reference a girl in 2F who never shows up or no no wait it's 2E sorry or Fuka's class cuz she's in a different class than um than us she's in a different classroom she's in the same grade but different classroom It's funny since his lips don't move. I just more magic. I just more imagine that all of our social links just have telepathic powers when it comes to us. So she just understood what he was thinking. She just knew what she what he was thinking. Like all he did was just put his. All he did was just scratch his neck. <laughs> didn't didn't open his mouth at all. Why is there always such a long pause between this is just something I kind of noticed with the um with this with this one and I don't know if it was just if this was a thing back in reload but it's like or this is reload and this was a thing back in the original or any of the other persona games mainly because I usually skip this crap um, because it's the same thing except the only thing that's changing is you know what arcana you're starting but like there's always been there's like a such an obnoxiously long pause there. And I really don't understand what's what is that. Like, is that just for dramatic effect, or is it just like the voice line's not loading properly, and it or they just didn't edit it to where it would take that long? I like I don't really know. It's not like annoying because you could still skip it. You could just skip through that. I honestly almost always do because I don't care. No, there's that dialogue I was talking about earlier about a while ago where. Akihiko mentions he wants to go training, but um, Mitsuru shuts that shit down. Hey, hey, hey. 
You know, talking about Mitsuru while she's sitting right across from you is not a really good idea, but you know what? You do you, hon. Dude's gonna die. There's not really much to talk about in this part, because I've already talked about almost everything. Oh, wait till we get to December, honestly. December is going to be fucking boring, I can tell you that now. Um, because, you know, December is like the last month in the game before... Yeah, it is the last month. It's the last month in the game before the final boss, so by that point you most likely have all of the, um... Your, all of your social stats up, your social links are mostly up except maybe like one or two... One of them probably being Igus, if you're someone like me who just marathons all of Igus's social link. Um, because, like, December, like, the last month in Persona games is typically, like, the cl cleanup month for any social links you want to get finished before, before the end of the year. Or before the end of the game. Best of luck, see you later. <laughs> Honestly, I do wonder if you can read mine. I was just thinking how nice it would be if someone lent us a hand over here. We've searched everywhere, but wait, uh, what were we looking for again? What? A French guy? What's he doing here? <laughs> I found something important on the ground outside. Does this belong to you? I like the fact that this guy's portrait always has his um his fan out, even though he never really takes it out. <laughs> he doesn't even take it out in this scene specifically. Whoa, 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 whoa. No one is talking about me. I don't... Why would everyone be talking about me? It's not like I have a criminal record like my... <laughs> it's not like I have a criminal record like Joker or something. <laughs> just, si just silence. in the home economics room every day. If you get bored, come join me. Well then, au revoir and sayonara. My, my, what a classy young man. <sighs> I know I kept it in my wallet. I didn't want to forget about it at any cost. Ah, there it is. I knew I put it in here. Good going, me. Dear, that key. Is it? Come on, dear, you know what it is. It's the key to our son's car. Such a nice boy coming to visit us has a way of making me feel young again. Been a while since I felt like putting the pedal to the metal. What age do I look, dear? Please don't. Why must you get into a car? Do you want me to end up all alone? Oh, um, I'm sorry for raising my voice. Did I scare you? Uh, our son, uh, remember what I told you? Uh, how he passed away? Yeah, you told us a few parts ago, I forgot, my bad. <laughs> it's been a few days, it's been a few weeks. He was a 
hit by a dump truck driver who was drunk on the job. Oh, damn. Uh, please tell me that, dri that driver was uh, fired, arrested, whatever. Please punch me. Just punch me for being so insensitive. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I forgot to consider how my wife might feel. Oh, I'm such a... Such a... Sorry, I'm laughing because I can hear my cat meowing right now because I closed the door to record this. <laughs> and she was still eating right outside my room, so I locked her out so she could, just so she does, no one interrupts the recording. But <laughs> I could hear her meowing her head off trying to get in. I'll let her in once I'm finished. Why don't we go out and have a nice dinner, dear? This is for you. Consider it your reward for helping us look around. Yeah, so that's actually the game's way of warning you, you know, hey, make sure you prepare for whatever you, um, you know, whatever you think you need for the battle tomorrow, make sure you prepare, um, because you won't be able to do anything tomorrow, um, once you get to the, uh, like, once tomorrow goes through, um, what, like, once you pass time tonight, you know, you, and you go to school for tomorrow, uh, you are locked into, um, the full moon boss battle. This one is, this full moon battle isn't even that hard, to be frank with you, so I wasn't worried about it. And also, for the, for the 80th time this Let's Play, I am level 90-something, so, um, it shouldn't be a problem by default. I gotta press the X button anytime soon. Preferably. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna end it for the part today. So, uh, the next time we meet in Persona 3 Reload, we will be doing the Full Moon boss battle. Um, which, again, it's the first one, so... It, Okay, I say first one, but then technically the first one was the the awakening for our character. Um, so technically, it's the second one, but I'm gonna say is our first official one since uh, you know. Shut up. <laughs> um, but we will be doing our first full moon boss battle, um, where um, you know that's just where the most of the major boss battles happen, like once a month. Um, so yeah, see you guys next time, and take care. Oh, <laughs>